Hello YouTube world, this is Alex the Gaming Teacher, and welcome back to my walkthrough of Pokemon Blue version. As you're watching this video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So we are here at the final showdown. It is about time that we take on the Elite Four, and I have my game plan on the side here, so as I thought, I was going to start with Raichu. Got all the items that I want, including Ethers, Elixirs. I thought there was really like a Max Elixir item too. Oh wait. Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, well we probably won't have to use it anyways. So, here we are. Oh, that's right, I wanted to surf. Nah. <laughs> no reason to do that. Okay. Alright, so Lorelei, I always find probably one of the toughest, it's not the toughest, but um, you got the ice types here, and uh, let's see, let me start with Thunder, I was thinking Thunderbolt at first, but it's like it's the first one, yeah, if I use Thunderbolt, it yeah, so now that I think about it, it's probably better use Thunderbolt because it still would have taken half of its health out. But Thunderbolt's way more accurate. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna stick with Raichu for Cloyster. And then having said that, I'll just go with Thunderbolt this time. Oh wow, not even a critical hit. That's, uh, pretty good. Okay, so now I've looked into this in the old Slowbro, you would think it has a psychic move, but there's a site that's called Cerebi.net, and according to it, this Slowbro here, the only attack it has is Water Gun. Everything else is not. But either way, I'm just gonna, like, say, put to sleep. Yeah, so... Special just did that there. Fortunately, I don't know how many hits they'll be able to take now. Let's see if we can get one so well, we got one here, but uh... Alright, well let's Ah dang it. Alright, well you know what? I'm gonna forget that then. Let's just attack it away here. I don't know if it has any moves to raise its defense, but... Oh, super potion, I see. It's fine though, because I don't think we'll use Bly Sam much against the other party members. I don't get it though, she keeps using Amnesia. Oh, this is fine. Let it let her use the super potions. Surprised she didn't use it on the dugong though. All right, maybe we should conserve the body sounds just in case. Okay, well it didn't matter. We just still didn't take damage, so a little bit rough. But all right, so Jinx, I'm going to go with the Flareon. Yeah, can't really say what his Jinx exactly is supposed to be, but... Uh, now that I think about it... Do I want to do fire? Yeah, let me see here. We'll start with this. Oh, snap. It's got Thrash. Well, I don't think it's supposed to be... Yeah, I only did 30 damage there. Alright, well, 
let's hope we can get it this attack in. <sighs> That's the problem. We can't land the hit there. Alright, this is gonna come down to this right here. Alright, good. And I know it's supposed to be confused. Um. Alright. Got it. Let's see if I was able to get it the first time, and I think that would have been good enough, but. At first, I was thinking about using Fire Blast, so I was like, eh. Could use Fire Blast later. Alright, so Lapras, I'm gonna go back to Raichu here. And try it with Thunder. I don't know if I've missed yet with Thunder, so. Uh. Oh, snap. Okay, good thing you can get paralyzed. I think this should get it out. Alright. Yeah, you can always get a little rough with uh, Lorelei, but... Came through it. The next fight is going to be the easiest of all of them. So here's the music for gym leaders. But, uh, the, out the uh, layout looks like we're in Cerulean, uh, or Misty's gym. So let me see, wait a second, did I, uh, yeah, might as well, I'm not gonna, it's not like I'm gonna use these items much anyways, so, I could've used a super potion. Uh, but anyways. I'm gonna start off Blastoise, because you'll see in the next area. This is gonna be Bruno, and his special is Fighting Type. Except, though, he's got two Pokemon that are not Fighting Type, which, uh. Yeah. Which makes it. Makes him why he's one of the easiest, and that is Onyx. Think about when it comes to Onyx, yep, just use a water type or a grass type, but Blastoise. And here's the thing I thought Onyx had some solid speed, uh, but maybe not. I know it doesn't have super speed, it's just this defense that's very high. And so if that's the case, Blastoise hits first, no chance at all. Alright, gonna go with. Firo here now because fighting types. Basically, Firo is my go to guy here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna use Drill Peck. I'm gonna probably use Fly against the next one after. Oh! Oh, snap! Well, it's a good thing that didn't hit because counter, that's a move that if I use a physical attack, which I did, and, uh,. What Himachan would have done was strike me back with twice the amount of damage that I dealt it with that drill pack, which pretty much would have made it faint right there. I don't know why I didn't, uh, you know, I don't know why I missed because I don't know if there's any accuracy with it. Okay, the hit Molly, if we go up and fly, let's see if this works. Ah, great. Well, probably gonna get hit here now. Ah, dang it. See, if he had used Jump Kick first, then, um... Hit Molly would have taken damage against on itself. Alright, but Firo took big damage there, though, so I don't know. But we should be fine, though. Firo faints. Just send out somebody else. Because I'm noticing, like, blue version compared to yellow, the moves that they all have are nowhere near as good. Like in yellow version, all the onyxes, one of them had dig, the other one had earthquake. Here, I think they just have like, what, rage and rock throw? It's like the elite four people don't even teach their Pokemon like TNs or anything like that. That's basically what it is. 
Alright, so this is gonna be Machamp. That's the final form of Machop. And, uh. Yep, might as well just do Drill Pack, it's a stronger attack. Oh boy. Ah. So X Defend. I have to remember that next time. Because I had done Drill Pack first, and then Flyed after. Oh. Well, here's the thing. Do you have any healing items? It doesn't look like it. So if Lorelei had our super potions, I guess Bruno's got nothing. Yep, his job is done. You should be uh, thankful that I let you finish your job early. No overtime. Okay. We'll go on to the next one. The next one's gonna be well you can kinda of recognize right here. Seems like it's gonna be a ghost type, because it looks like we're in the ghost tower. And uh she starts off with a Gengar, which is of all form of haunter. And what I'm gonna do is have Blastoids go against it. Because the best thing you use is a ground type or psychic, but ground better because Gengar's defense isn't that great. And so we're gonna use Dig here. Now I gotta be aware though that it has Hypnosis and Dream Eater, so it's all good though. If I fall asleep, just uh. Okay, see that's the poor IQ. I can't use Dream Eater unless I'm asleep. Okay, so now we need to, uh, just do it again. Alright, though, being confused, that's not a good thing. Dang it. Let's so use Nightshade again. Okay, I'm better off just using Surf now. Oh boy. Well, best thing is just use the Poke Flute. Because, you know, it's going to use Dream Reader next, and the bad thing about that is... Oh, what the heck? Ah, dang it. Well, now we're going to just take the chances and dig. Alright, this did not go too well. Oh, well, let's see. You don't get hit. Dang it. Well, you know what? Freaking... She used an item, I'm gonna use an item too. It's like, it's all in fairness, right? Except mine's a max potion, but. Oh, look at that. So, you're using Dream Eater when I'm still not asleep. Okay, let's see if we snap out of our confusion, because if that's the case, then we got this one. I'm still confused? What the heck? It's like so many turns already. Okay, there we go. Because I feel like it should be like. Two to five turns with you know sleep of uh, confusion. All right, so Golbat, yes, Raichu seems to be ideal one. And yeah, I'll make sure that everybody in the party gets involved here and there. Ah, jeez, I should not have. What the heck? All stats changes are eliminated. Well, no stat changes were ever occur, so. That's cool though. Hazes. Oh wow. That's uh see I don't quite get that. It's like I use Thunder, she had to select an attack. Apparently she sensed I was gonna take I don't know. Cause that items had to be used at the beginning of the turn. Alright, I'm actually gonna go with Blastoise. Again. But, uh, I can't remember if. Did our Blastoise have more speed than Gengar? I don't think it did, but. Oh my gosh. Well, now, this is not good. One thing I noticed is that. I guess, I don't know, maybe not in future generations either, that. Full stores do not heal, um, 
confusion. You know what, speaking of four stores, I'm just gonna... Actually, no, I won't do that. Playing by the numbers here. Oh my gosh. See, the other one I could've used is Needle Queen with her Earthquake, but the reason why, you know, I guess I should've just used Needle Queen because I'm gonna use a Poke Flute anyways. Okay, well. All right, good. And this should take it out. I mean, Haunter is definitely not as strong. No one's as strong as it's a fall form. Right, so... Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the Queen Nido here. Because Arbok, of course, just a poison type, so... What we're gonna do is... Shake this ground. Let's see, might have to do it a second time. Yeah. I'm not gonna really use it in the other any other battles. Cause the next one, or you know, the last five we're gonna basically use everybody 1v1. Okay, so here's the weird thing is that this Gengar also has Dream Eater, but I believe it does not have Hypnosis. So... Okay, you can use Nightshade, that's fine. And the good thing, Nidal Queen has a lot of HP, so... Use this Nightshade again, you don't have to bother healing it. Let's... Okay, well, maybe it's not going to take it out. Oh! Critical hit can't tell though, but you know he might have because Nero Queen is a ground type. But I'm just saying that Earthquake and Dig have the same damage. Blastoise had better attacks, so who knows? But oh well, we won, so so that is that. So let's. And you know, for all it's like we only used. Uh, we used Raichu, he, he didn't take damage, so... Yeah. This is why I don't use too much here, but now we got two more fights. And... No, Raichu is going to be the first one you send out. That's always the best. Because you're going to see the first Pokemon that gets sent out for this next opponent. No better one to use than like an electric type. Okay, so I tried showing this in the old version, I know it doesn't work, but let me see if this still happens in blue. Yep. This is one of those weird <laughs> things that you can somehow just surf across a statue. Doesn't make sense. But we have to fight this guy here. And his name is Lance, the Dragon Trainer. Okay. So Lance. Like Sir Lance a lot. So he has got dragons. This is not really a dragon, but you know, looks like a sea dragon, so it makes sense. Um yeah, no reason to use thunder, it's like Thunderbolt should take it out. It's never failed to. Because it's because the thing is that the special stat isn't that great. You know, even in Generation 1, but Generation 2, yeah, not so much. Okay, uh, so one thing I know is that these Dragonairs in the yellow version, one of them has electric moves, the other one has water and ice moves. Not here. The one move you have to be aware of, though, is Hyper Beam. So what I'm going to probably do is maybe start with Body Slam. Oh, okay, well. Hoping it gets paralyzed, and it did. Good. Uh, okay, well, agility, but... Eh, okay, whatever. It had the higher speed there, but... It just wanted to get even faster. 
So Dragonair is... Oh, snap. Oh, dang, I should have thought of that then. Well, oh well, if we use it here... Then later. Should have used Body Slam, though. Gotta always be aware of that. In case they might have healing items. We also consider using Rock Slide, because that could make the opponent flinch. I don't know how often that happens in Generation 1. No. Well, all that agility, all that speed, and you're still fully paralyzed. Okay, well... No, I have to use a couple more moves, but it's all good there. Uh, okay. I think what I'm going to do now is... I think... It's probably not really the best. I know I have my Blastoise up the Ice Beam, but I'm trying to conserve it for the last one. So I'm going to go with this again. So apparently Dragonair does not have great speed. Okay, but that's the move I'm talking about. Hyper Beam. I don't know how much damage this is going to do, but... Alright, good. Survived it, which means... I have an extra turn because... Ah, jeez. Well, wait, what? Uh, yeah. That does not sound right. <laughs> okay, what the heck? Because Hyper Beam is supposed to be a move that... You know, if they don't faint, the opponent has to recharge on the next turn. Uh, you know what? At this point, I'm just gonna go with... Whoever I got... Just put out Fero then here. Oh, I don't think he can use Mirror Move though. But imagine Fero being able to use Hyper Beam. Well, let's see if he can survive it. He might be able to. Alright, so. Flareon survived one. Let's see if you can. Kid, okay. So Lance might use a potion, but. How about that? That's probably the only time you'll be able, you'll get to use Hyper Beam because I know for sure you cannot learn that move. Pretty sure about that. Fero Hyper Beam, nah. But giving you a little taste of your own medicine there. All right, now no more playing around. We're gonna go straight to Blastoise here. Aerodactyl, Rock and Flying type. Um. Supersonic, no thank you. So probably better do Surf because it is a water move. And okay. Alright, well, luck is on my side there. We missed on both those moves. But that's so weird. I don't know why that dragon there in the before was able to use Hyper Beam two times in a row without having to recharge. It's like but you know the bad thing is Flareon, again, missed with Fire Spin, and it's, you cannot let that happen. Alright, so Dragonite is the final form. So you don't get to see the first form, though, but anyways. Dragon Flying type is what it is, so Ice moves are the best ones to use. Alright, and Blastoise Defense should be able to withstand this here. Unless it's a critical hit. Oh my gosh, of course it is. And I know for sure it'll get to attack again. Um, let's go with Middle Queen then. Next best thing here is to use this rock move. Oh, surprised he didn't use Hyper Beam again, but. Oh, great. If it uses a full restore item. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't look like it has one. Okay. Setting up a barrier for barrier for no reason. Should have done that when you had full health, but Alright. Thing didn't go so well, but still came out with a victory. That's all that matters. Yep, so here's the thing. Be the Elite Four. 
but somebody else beat us to the chase, and that's Gary, so basically he's the champion now, and if we want to be the official champion, we're going to have to beat him. Alright, so first time I lost, you know, after League 4, we lost a couple out of health. Just that dang hyper beam. You know, Lance, all of his Pokemon knew that move, so didn't get to see it with Aerodactyl or the uh whatever you call it, the Gyarados. Okay, well with Gary, when it comes out to him, everyone's gonna get involved here. We'll start with Needle Queen, because I know he's got the Pidgeot that comes out first. Just go ahead and save it. Okay, I think we are ready to roll. Hope I didn't forget anything. It's like we're fighting Gary on the SSN again, because kind of looking at the setting, except for those statues. I think this is supposed to be like ride ons. Do I know what that means? Yeah, that means I'm just gonna whoop you right now. So here we go. Gary's final round. And, uh,. Oh snap, what is it going to use? Oh, that's going to be the sky attack move. Dang it. Oh, uh, this is not good, because that's a very strong move. Uh, anyways. So rock slide is probably best what I should start with. Because I think it has mirror move as well. So if it uses that, then... Rock Slide against Nidal Queen won't do that much. Okay, well, start off with that Sky Attack, but then you're in Whirlwind. That's, uh, yeah. You know, alarm you at first, but nah, didn't do much there. Okay, so Alakazam. See if Flareon can avenge. From that previous encounter. See, that's what I want you to do. Oh, come on now. Let's not do this again. Or reflect. Man, that's the problem from the last battle is that he kept missing. Okay, well. Let's see if you're able to get this. This will happen for a couple more churns here. Oh man, that was not enough. Oh boy, not good. Psychic, okay, well, special fell, so basically, one more hit and Flareon is. No, oh, well. You know what? Dang it. I should have just used Fire Blast then. Fire Spin did not do much for me. Just wonderful. Alright, I guess I've got to put Pharaoh out here. Jeez Louise. Okay. You better use Fly because then it takes up two turns and then... Okay, this should do it. Uh, goodness. Let's see, so right on. Gonna send out Victory Bell here. Alright, let's see if we can put it to sleep first. Because I don't know if it has any strong attacks, like ground attacks that is, but as long as it stays asleep, 
Solar beam. Got no chance to stand, you know, withstand that attack. Just like the Gyarados with electric moves, Rhydon suffers against water and grass. Speaking of Gyarados... Not gonna play around here, just use. Well, actually, I had on my notes I used Thunder, but I'm like, nah. I'm just trying to get through here. We already saw Thunder, so it's all good. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do here is. Use a Max Revive on Flareon. Then maybe I will go ahead and use Fire Blast, uh, you know, when Gary has his Venusaur. Because that's basically what he has left after this here. So yeah, basically it just comes down to that Alakazam. It's hard to, you know, take it down because it's Psychic types. The only ones that are stronger are actually Bug moves. Or... The thing is, in Generation 1, there's not really any strong Bug moves. In fact, the only Bug attack, I think, is Leech Life. So, I think that Venusaur, the only attack moves he has are grass types. Okay, it's gonna use Solar Beam now. I don't think this is gonna take it out, so. Ooh, got burned. Maybe we'll go ahead and use Skull Bash then. Oh boy, yeah. So that's the strongest grass move by far. And do too much damage. Oh great. It's got Mega Drain. Oh boy. Oh snap. Oh. Okay. Well, he went with that. He's gonna take damage from the burn. And yeah, good thing about fire blasts. It's not even so much more accurate than Fire Spin, but like, just that much, it's more reliable. But alright, Gary's out. Now I'm the champ. Yeah, we don't like to admit some things, but just gotta do it one way or another. Yep, so much. It's been ages since we had Squirtle. Just kind of going through the dialogue here. And so, with like all Pokemon games, when you beat the champion, the ones that did so, go into what's called the Hall of Fame. So I suppose... Gary's were in the Hall of Fame, or maybe not. Maybe because, yeah, when, he, when Professor Oak said he heard Gary beat the Elite Four, he was going to come over and send his Pokemon to the Hall of Fame. But then he already lost to me. So therefore, that's probably why I didn't get the chance to do so. So anyways... It was a little rough here and there, but... As you can see... Especially with Generation 1, when it comes to future generations though... Being underleveled by like 20... It could be a problem. Because the IQ of the Pokemon, the computer... It gets higher as the generations go. In fact, basically, Generation 2 and beyond. Generation 1 is just the only one where it's like they're trying to use Roar or trying to use like Dream Eater when I'm not asleep, stuff like that. Wait, what? I, I did not see what my uh, Pokedex looked like, but apparently, yeah, I already got the Flash 8 gem, so. 
but it's probably right after 10 though. Anyways, this I know the credits are going to be really quick though, so I'll just say what a fun journey it was. It was rough though, because you saw that many times I had to like change up my file. And to be, believe it or not, it even actually happened right before I fought Gary. And that's why I definitely just wanted to save the game. So in case it did happen, I didn't have to go through the Elite Four once more. You know, just fight Gary and that's it. But, you know, I won't really go into too much detail because, you know, I'll do this for all the Pokemon games anyways. But I always enjoyed it. And this one gives me a lot of memories too because, like I said, yellow version was the very first one I played. But blue version is the very first one I beat. Because yellow, I just like could not get past Brock. I didn't know what to do. When it came to uh, blue version, you know, I just chose Squirtle. I don't know why, maybe just because it was in the middle, you know, of the three that you could choose. And then just like that, I stuck with it. I didn't really catch anybody else, I think. I might have caught a Pidgey just to have on the side, but I used Squirtle completely for battling. And that's why I think I got it pretty high enough so where it could learn Water Gun. It just wiped out Brock instantly. I'm just like, whoa. Now that's what I'm talking about. And so that's it. The rest is just history. And I, yeah, Squirtle is just my favorite just because of that incident with Brock. Um... So yeah, the first Pokemon game I ever beat. So, um, it's, it never gets old. Kind of wish I had my original save file. But, anyways. You can see something here. Alright, so we are back in Palatown. Pretty sure that our Pokemon get healed. They don't. Well, then let's talk to Mom quickly here. And, like where we started, over here. Well, actually, no. I know if you go into the PC, you can now view the Hall of Fame, but I think we're good. Uh, let's see. That's a Super Nintendo, something like that. We'll just go ahead, and I don't really need to save it again, but just for... Just to assure ourselves that we're going to close out here. So, that is basically it. I always give this a total big thumbs up. Pokemon never gets old. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and the whole entire series, and please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And if you have any questions or comments of anything at all, then just put them in that comment section right below. And having said all of that, what I have next is Pokemon Gold. That's the next one coming up, so look forward to that. Second generation, it's going to be fun. Uh, but anyways, having said all that, stay safe everybody. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you all next time.